Hi everyone, my name is Nina. I am a lactation consultant and today I will be answering the most common questions I get asked by mothers uh, regarding breastfeeding. Well, the research is overwhelming about the benefits for children and for mothers. First off, the WHO or World Health Organization recommends that mothers exclusively breastfeed for six months and then they introduce solids and can continue breastfeeding until two years of age. Why is that? It's because breast milk is actually the perfect, or human milk is the perfect food for human babies. It has the correct amount of proteins, carbohydrates, fats, and vitamins and minerals that the baby needs. In addition to that, breast milk has a lot of antibodies that protect the baby from a lot of diseases and builds a beautiful immune, uh, immunological base for children later on. The research shows us that breastfed children are protected from many diseases like diabetes, like ear infections, like gut infections, and many, many others. We even find that breastfed children have lower risk of obesity and other diseases like hypertension. In addition, the research shows us that children who are breastfed tend to have higher IQs and better brain development. As for the mothers, breastfeeding helps moms with weight loss as breastfeeding exclusively burns around 500 calories a day. Not only that, but breastfeeding protects mothers from ovarian cancer and breast cancer as well. In addition, breastfeeding lets, allows the uterus to contract faster and some research shows us that mothers who breastfeed tend to have lower risks of depression. Women's bodies are made to breastfeed and the majority of women are able to breastfeed without any issues whatsoever. It's only less than 3% of women that cannot breastfeed. So the likelihood of you not being able to breastfeed is very, very low. To make sure that you have adequate milk supply, what you need to do is you make sure that as soon as you deliver, you try to breastfeed within the first hour after birth, and then you just breastfeed on demand whenever your baby requests. This allows you to build the milk supply that your body needs. Uh, the key to a great milk supply is just a great demand and allowing your baby to breastfeed as much as possible. The more your baby breastfeeds, the more your body is going to make milk. If you don't breastfeed, your body is not going to make enough milk. The answer to that question is that you don't really have to eat specific things in order to be able to make milk. Uh, mother's bodies are made to be able to produce enough milk as per the baby's demand. So as we said earlier, the more the baby breastfeeds, the more milk you're going to make. Even women who are underweight or live in, in, in poor countries are still able to make adequate milk for their children. With that being said, it's very smart to eat well just the way that you were eating during pregnancy or before that and to make sure that you eat a lot of vegetables and proteins and drink enough water and healthy carbohydrates that are complex because we need you to feel good and be nourished in order to be comfortable breastfeeding for as long as you can. I find that a lot of moms actually fear the pain from breastfeeding because they heard from their moms or sisters or friends that breastfeeding is supposed to be painful. Breastfeeding, in fact, when done correctly, should cause zero pain to the mother. However, a lot of times we latch our babies in the wrong way, which causes pain. We call this an incorrect latch. Ask for a lactation uh, consultant in your hospital to assess your breastfeeding and to make sure that you're latched properly. If the latch is correct but the pain persists, then there's a high likelihood that your baby has a tongue tie that's affecting his latch and therefore causing you pain. If you are feeling pain, know that something is off. If you are a mom who's not breastfeeding yet, know that breastfeeding should not hurt you and should be a beautiful experience between you and your baby. And actually you can. I know a lot of women who were able to breastfeed exclusively and go back to work easily. All it needs is a little bit of planning. What, we, what you have to do actually is to plan ahead of time and start pumping early on. So 
if you plan on getting back to work after three months or four months, it would be a good idea starting day three or four when you get back home to start pumping one extra session per day. And whatever milk you get from that session, you put in the freezer so that by the time you start working, you actually have a few bottles ready to go that you can give your baby. And once you get back to work, you'll have to allocate some time to pump at work to make up for the feeds that you're missing at home. So if your work schedule is from eight to four and you usually give your baby uh, or you breastfeed your baby three to four times during this time, when you're at work, what you need to do is pump three to four times and take these bottles home with you so your baby can have them the next day and the cycle goes on. There's a lot of women who are in excellent positions who are able to breastfeed and get back to work. And this is a very normal question because we cannot see how many milliliters our breasts provide. However, we can see the milliliters in a formula bottle. And the answer to this is you just have to make sure that you're checking your baby's weight every two weeks to four weeks. Your breastfed baby, if they're breastfeeding enough, should regain their birth weight by day 14. And after that, they should be gaining around 20 to 30 grams per day. That's around 600 to 900 grams per month. If you're seeing that your baby's gaining enough weight, you're seeing that your baby is peeing four to six times a day and stooling once a day, and your pediatrician has no complaints, then trust your body and trust that your milk is enough. As a lactation consultant and as healthcare professionals, we should all support you as a breastfeeding mother to breastfeed your child as it has a ton of benefits for you and your baby.